What is going on guys? This is Arctic Fox. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are touching on a case that we've previously covered on this channel and this girl is still missing. She is a 21 year old named Layla Santanello who is missing out of Kingsport, Tennessee. Now it's important that we continue to cover this case. Layla has a little girl named Nova Grace and that little girl needs her mom. Uh, Layla is 4 foot 10 inches tall and weighs 135 pounds. At the time that she went missing, her hair was dyed blonde with brown roots. She has brown eyes. She does have a Roman numeral tattoo on her collarbone. And she has her daughter's name, Nova Grace, tattooed on her left forearm. There has been an endangered young adult alert issued in accordance with the Holly Bobo Act. That was issued on behalf of the Kingsport Police Department for Layla. Layla was last seen on the 26th of June, 2023 at the AmeriCourt Hotel there in Kingsport, Tennessee. She was observed going door-to-door -door at the motel wearing a white tank top, black leggings, and no shoes. Layla's father, George, and her stepmother, Brittany, are offering a $5,000 reward for Layla's safe return. We need to get Layla's face to continue to circulate all over social media. That little girl needs her mama back. Now, there has been a lot of misinformation put out. There's information out there circulating that Layla had last been seen at the Marble Slab Creamery in Kingsport. That information is incorrect. The last verifiable sighting was that she was seen at the AmeriCorps Motel. The story of the witness at the marble slab has changed numerous times, and that is no longer credible. Also, it's been stated that it was Layla's mom, Jennifer, that reported her missing. That is also not true. It was actually Layla's father, George, that reported her missing. Her mother, Jennifer, delayed in reporting her missing because Layla has had some issues with drugs, and she was in the process, Jennifer was, of trying to get custody, temporary custody, of Nova Grace. And Jennifer did want to wait until after an upcoming custody hearing to report Layla as missing, allegedly. So it was George that actually took action and reported his daughter missing. Um, it's unfortunate that there was that 48-hour delay in reporting Layla missing because we do know that the first 24 to 48 hours are the most critical in any missing person's case. Um, and so, I mean, I, I try to stick to the facts in this, and I just wanted to clear up the information. There's been a lot of drama between the father and the stepmother and apparently the mother um, back and forth. I know that Jennifer Santanello is not real happy with the private investigator that's working on Layla's case. I think he's a good private investigator. I've seen Steve Fisher do some really good work. And I think if anyone can find Layla, it's going to be him. Uh, and then you've got Bullhorn Betty that's inserted herself into this case. She is allegedly guilty of some serious witness tampering and threatening. Uh, you know, again, I really wish of all people that Jennifer Santanello chose to work with, it was not Bullhorn Betty, but that's just my personal opinion on this. I do not think that she should insert, that any family should work directly with Bullhorn Betty at all. That's just my personal opinion. She has never, ever helped to bring a child home. All she does is create drama in every case that she gets herself involved in. But right now, the main thing that we need to focus on is we need to bring Layla home to her daughter. Her daughter needs her, and Layla needs to get the help that she needs. Just because she was involved in drugs does not make her a bad person. Several people are involved with drugs at some point in their lives, and many get themselves clean, and they can become very well-respected citizens. They make good parents. I mean, right now, what George and Brittany are focused on is making sure that they can get her into a program to get her the help that she needs. They want to bring their daughter home safe. And there's nothing out there that indicates that Layla is not still with us, uh, contrary to things that have been said on other channels. So we need to keep that hope alive that Layla is still out there alive somewhere. Uh, she does run in the same circles as other 
children or other women from that area that are currently missing, uh, which does tend to bring the speculation up that maybe trafficking could be involved somehow, or maybe it's a drug debt. But again, that's speculation. It's not anything that's known as fact. And right now, these are the facts. We know that she went missing. She was last seen at the AmeriCorps Motel. Uh, we know that the lead about the creamery is no longer considered valid. And we know that she has a daughter that needs her mother. We know that Steve Fisher is very active in working on trying to find Layla and bring her home. He's the private investigator that's working on this. And we do know that George and Brittany are offering that $5,000 reward. Someone out there has to have information on Layla or her whereabouts. So what I'm asking is for everyone to continue to share Layla's face out all over social media. If you have information... Even if you think it's trivial, even if you think the police obviously already know the information, call that information in to Detective Bill Clare. He is with the Kingsport Police Department. You can contact the anonymous tip line at 423-212-5804. You can also contact the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation. That number is 1-800-TBI-FIND. So do me a huge favor, guys, and give the video a like. It does help more people to see Layla's face. The more people that see Layla, the better the chances are that we can find her and we can bring her home safe to her family. Also, if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, consider clicking that subscribe button. It really does help the channel out. And if you ring that notification bell, you'll always be alerted whenever I post another missing persons video. But the most important thing that I need for all of you to do right now is to simply click that share button, guys. Share this to your Facebook, your Twitter, your Instagram, wherever you have social media. It only takes a second of your time to do, and it can make all the difference in the world and whether we're able to find Layla and bring her home safe or not. As always, guys, I do thank you so much for tuning in and watching. I appreciate each and every single one of you. Y'all be kind to one another out there, and let's bring Layla home safe.